So Google just went ahead and actually released their Google Pixel 6. So let's go ahead and compare it and do a quick comparison against this and the Galaxy S21 and see which one is the better value per dollar, which one is the better deal. Now I will tell you, full comparison coming soon, I'm getting the Pixel sent to me, so we'll just wait until we get those. Now a big thing is, is with the displays up front, the Pixel 6 actually has a bigger display than the Samsung Galaxy S21, so that's a pretty big thing. But you do technically get a lower, you know, refresh rate, so you're getting a 90 hertz refresh rate on the Pixel 6 versus the S21's 120 hertz refresh rate. So keep that in mind. If that's something that's really big to you, then obviously get the S21. But I will be curious to see which one has a better display. You have USB type C's on the both of them. And you do have a little bit of a different back. Now, again, I don't know what the back feeling of the you know Pixel 6 is, but the S21 had a plastic back, which I was not a fan of. Now, camera wise, you are getting a dual camera setup on the Pixel 6, but that triple camera setup on the S21, which is a massive feature for it. You're getting a wide and ultra wide sensor on the Pixel 6, where you're getting a wide telephoto and ultra wide sensor on the S21. So I'm pretty sure the S21 may be the better camera here, but the Pixel 6 with that new Tensor chip may be the better camera overall. All, you know in terms of photo and video and that's what's crazy the Google Pixel 6 now stepped away from Snapdragon and they now have a Google built chip inside of it which is massive so this could improve performance possibly we don't know yet we haven't tested it yet but I'm pretty sure the new Google Tensor chip is going to be much better than even the Snapdragon 888 that we had and the best advantage of this is the longevity of software Google actually stated that they're going to give five years of security updates now for their Google Pixel 6s versus the S 21s, which kind of, you know, they did get improvements with the last year, but I mean, compared to Google, this is going to be a crazy thing between both of them for sure. Now, they both have inbuilt fingerprint sensors, which is great. They both are fairly cheaper than, you know, with the thousand dollar flagships. The S21, you can actually pick up for less than $500 in a lot of places, but brand new, it was more expensive than that. And it was, you know, a couple hundred dollars more than a brand new Google Pixel 6, which is right now selling for $599. So overall, you are getting, I think, a much better deal from the Pixel 6. Battery size wise, there was a little bit of a difference that, you know, Google stated. I mean, you're getting a 4,600 million power battery on the Pixel 6, where you're getting a 4,000 million power battery on the Galaxy S21. So we'll be curious to see which one, you know, outlasts the other one by how much, but that pretty much covers it up. If you guys have any other questions or anything like that, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.